Well, hello there. Basically, I am recording another video. I will say these basically I'm recording. I don't know why, but I will say that. And um, the purpose of this video is to talk about, well, a little bit, a little bit about the politics. But pretty much, basically, that um, this week there is no loose women, and I don't believe it's on next week. Yes, I know what you're thinking. Loose women. What is he on about? Well, it's a basic TV program, and I think I have mentioned it before on one of my blogs. But anyway, Loose Women is not on this week because it's been replaced by a show called O'Brien. Now, I've actually watched it because I'm intrigued about the debate shows like this. And if, there's not many debate shows like this. I mean, most of them end up being something like Question Time and so on. I don't normally watch them, but... This one is basically a debate show where um, there's a guy called O'Brien, I don't know what his first name is, but he presents it and he's got a studio audience and then they have three other people which is usually um, at least, at least some form of celebrity. And we've had Jim Davidson on for a few days. Ah, oh, the wonderful Jim Davidson who is an absolute cracking comedian. And what they do is they talk about the um, issues of basically going out basically into it um not necessarily a full issue for the hour because that's not needed i mean for an hour for an hour show you don't need to be talking about but but you probably get about half an hour or 35 minutes or whatever you know roughly on something before you move on to something else and they are all about different um subjects it seems like um benefits um or things like, like, is Britain racist? They were, they, they were debating on whether they think that we as a country are a racist country and people share their views and people like White D or whoever might be on there, you know, Jim Davidson might have their say and somebody in the middle um, of them would have their say. In the same way that there's benefits, like for instance, is it okay to be on benefit but not actually work? Like, for instance, a woman might have eight kids. In this country, there are people like, you know, a woman might, say, have eight kids but not go out to work. Because, you know, she's getting all these benefits. So, in her in her defence, she'll say, I don't need to work. Because I'm claiming benefits and, and that. And there's all these debates and there's all different ones, you know, um, debate today about drugs. And things like that, you know. Um, well, I think that was... What do you say? Like, should drugs be legalised? Is it, you know, something that should happen? And I sit there and I have my own views on these. I could easily um, um, got all the, the the bits I was talking about, and I could easily sit here and I can give my views out on that one. But I don't think we need to. But I'm sure some people out there might want to um, basically have um, some idea. You know, they might say, "Oh, Matthew, yes, I want to know about your." views on these subjects and I, and I suppose we can all give it but it's an interesting program anyway and it is, it's a debate program that I actually like and I enjoy the presenter and I enjoy the people that are on there they talk about their various different things but it was interesting and it makes a change for a program to be on that's new without the need of saying those women being taken off air they're going to put something else on in this place which is the same old norm that they've had so yeah and I'm, I'm a and I suppose in a way I'm quite glad that loose women taken off air for a bit because that's getting a bit stale now I think um I'm not saying loose women's a really really bad program I would watch it if there are certain um celebrities that come onto it but it got to a stage where loose women become more of a one celebrity program where you've got your panel, you've got like your your host, so it could be Ruth, or it could be Carol Vorderman, or um, Andrea, or whatever. And then you have your three panellists, so it might be um, Jamelia, it might be Janet Street Porter, or it might be Colleen Nolan, or another day they might have, say, Sherry Houston on, or it might be um, Linda Robson, or they might have Gloria Honeyford. These people will come onto the show basically and and that, but they've got to the stage where 
in the past you used to be to like two celebrities. They had an hour and you two celebrities. So you'd probably say, Oh, in the in, in the studio today might be Michael Ball and something like I don't know, um Joe Squally. As an example, two people will come on the show, Joe Squally or or um Michael Ball. Now they seem to only have it on like one celebrity, so you would almost sit there, you'd be like, oh, Katie Price is coming on today, and she's going to be talking about various things, and you, you kind of think, oh, why have they only gone down to the one, are they really not able to find people to come on to that show, but yeah, I just thought I'd do a blog and explain that, basically, I have actually um, been watching this new program, this new debate program called O'Brien, that's come onto the TV in the UK. Um, it's not actually a, a foreign program, I believe it's a new program, I think, and it's basically a British based program, so they debate lots of things, and it's going to be on for at least two weeks, so we've got two weeks to watch it with all these different debates that they're talking about on various different subjects, which is wonderful, and it, and I suppose in a way, it could enhance the whole politics thing, because Yes, I'm going to end off with a politics bit because I just say at the start of the video that we were, going to, we were going to mention a little bit about politics. And yes, the elections, in case you're wondering, out there, so anybody who's not from the UK, our elections are coming up very, very soon. It's a very big thing. And I do vote. I always vote. So when I do vote, I know that I'm allowed to voice my opinion because I do believe that if you don't vote you can't voice an opinion because it's very easy to go to um, places where there's local politicians or wherever and you might go there and think I want my voice to be heard but you don't vote. If you don't vote I don't think you've got a voice to be heard. I know what some people say that all politicians are the same. They all say they're going to do this, they're going to do that and when they get into power they don't do it. Maybe that is true, but I do believe that, you know, there are politicians and great people out there who get into power and will do and deliver what they basically say. And that, if you, if you want, and I know there's going to be people who are not from the UK might be wondering who our main parties are. Well, there's three of them. Even though there are more, i.e. UKIP, yes. Basically... If you vote UKIP, you are standing for British only, predominantly, because that's exactly what UKIP is all about. There are, there's the Green Party and people like that, but these are just the sort of, these do get some, they do get some voters, basically, but they don't get many voters, because sadly, they've been overshadowed by the likes of Liberal Democrats, and obviously Conservatives, who are currently in power, Mr David Cameron, and last but not least, Labour. That's who I am voting for, in case anybody out there is wondering. You might not. I understand that. You all vote for who you ever want to vote for. But, like my mum's friend said, and I believe in it, she's always voted Labour, and I've always voted Labour, because they basically think that Labour is for the working class. They think that Labour is for people like us. I think, as my mum's friend would say, she believes that's conservative, and, and it's possibly true... They care more about the rich. They don't care about the people below them. They're more they're more the posh side of things. They're more for the rich rather than the working class. And I believe that's what Labour's always been, I think. So I've always voted for Labour and I always will do and that's what I'll be doing in the general election. So hopefully in a few months time, when the elections are well it's coming on I think the elections is something like in May, I'm, I'm, I'm not quite I'm not quite sure, but hopefully in a fair few weeks time or whatever I might be coming on here and saying congratulations we have a new Prime Minister and he isn't David Cameron and it will be Ed Miliband woohoo yeah let's hope hopefully hopefully but we've all got to get voting for Labour we've all got to get everybody to vote for Labour that's what we're going to do support Labour I say Ed Miliband can do a good job he might not seem like the sort of person you would expect to be a Prime Minister, but he will be a Prime Minister. And then, Barack Obama will be discussing the important things around the world when he needs to discuss them. 
with any with the people from the UK as you do. Not with David Cameron, but Ed Miliband. So he won't be ringing up David Cameron and going, "We need your help." No, we need your help, Ed Miliband. Yes, let's hope that Ed Miliband gets in. But I'm just gonna leave it there, basically. So just thought I would do this vlog. I'll probably do another one after, maybe if I think of something I can talk about. But other than that, bye for now.